Okay, so wouldn't it be really neat? Um, you know those little hanging trees for the uh, car, for to freshen up the car. What do you call them? Anyways, little happy trees. They're all different colors. Wouldn't it be neat if each color uh, was coordinated with a specific chakra or something like that? Like you specifically choose a color based off of whatever you're feeling at that time. Or um, another thing is, you know, Venus, the razor and stuff. If they have it has anything to do with the uh, the mythology or anything like that, or even planetary. You know, and all these people choose certain name brands or they make a company and they get the inspiration and they almost have like a muse and they just get the spark and then they build either a franchise or an entire company or something like that and then they kind of go based off that and in their logos in their wording and their product itself will give you an explanation of their intuitive insight and their download that they got for that inspiration. It will literally give you an insight into their way of thinking and how they came up with it and um, maybe what they were tapped into in the time. Sometimes I know with uh, food companies or even restaurants or something like that, they will actually put the name of what it is that inspired them. Let's say they were fasting for a bit or not even fasting and they ate a specific food. And then all of a sudden, after they eat that food, it's just like uh, they tap into a whole other frequency. And then while they're in that frequency, especially high vibrational, they get these inspirational things. They get these downloads, these ideas, like just like inventors and stuff like that or composers. They are tapping into the vibrational frequency of what's around them. So they're able to have access to this stuff, especially stuff that hasn't been talked, to, uh, talked about in a long time. Just do it. <laughs> I personally have tried, um, I'm starting up my own little business in that and um, trying to be patient, right? When it comes to getting more flow of customers in and stuff. And I'm really excited and I still have the enthusiasm. I still have the drive and I still have all these ideas coming in, but then I have other ideas for other things too. And it's like, will you just pick one thing at a time and try to work on that? Put your energy into that again. And uh, it can be distracting, especially when you're really happy mood and you're getting all these downloads coming in at once. Whether or not you know what downloads are, I call them downloads, or just inspirational thoughts and ideas and visions and things that come into you. Uh, it can be overwhelming, so maybe write it down. If you're making a project and you want to hop on something else, well, if you can multitask, all the power to you. But if not, I would highly recommend you do what I'm trying to do and just approach things one thing at a time so you don't get overwhelmed because you might uh, what was I gonna add so yeah uh, they will put on their brand name to give you a hint of what they've they've figured out I want to say figured out what they've learned already or what information they were privy to or what what information was sent to them or visions or things that they've tapped into on that scale or frequency which is really cool I don't know if you've ever done this, but let's say you just got out the shower, you're singing in the shower, and you start composing your own little tune, and you start going based off of whatever comes into your head, and it starts to really flow, and it sounds really good, and you're like, well, shit, I could, I could make music out of this, then by all means, if you have the technology, get that from your head into something, because maybe that's what you're supposed to do. I'm, I'm kind of being urged to encourage you to do that. Um, if it's lyrical, write it down. If it's not music, but you want to be able to compose an idea of specific... How is it coming through? If you want to be able to compose an idea of specific things, like in order to write a book, do your research the best you can. If you get like urges to, oh, I should be looking up the spinning wheel, or oh, I should be looking up the origin of the ottoman, or I'm getting told right now to look up tartans and their different backgrounds or family things and stuff like that and where it's coming from. <laughs> Guy just pulled both his pant legs up all the way into shorts. Um, you know, look at the signs and synchronicities around you. Lift your face up from the phone and actually tap in and look around you and what's being put in front of you to see. If you're high vibing, there'll be good messages. If you're low vibing, they may be negative. Don't roll with the negative ones. It's really not going to get you nowhere unless you enjoy that sort of thing. If you like chaos and conflict, 
by all means. But it's a learning experience either way. And get the messages that you need to get for you. So if I can give you a word of advice, do that. Be playful with it. And yeah, when uh, you're being in a happy mode and every uh, everybody around you, other people are noticing, uh, and then they try to trigger you, just ignore it. Like, yeah, that's fine. Or it's like, oh, you're this and this, or you're, they try to tear you down in some way, just agree with them. Okay, yeah, sure, I'm gonna go over there. <laughs> Don't let them disturb your peace, okay?